note that Mr. Stone is a man who has 50 years of dirty tricks behind him. He's a man for whom a term was coined for copulating with a rodent. Well, let me be clear. Donald Trump may be a rat, but I have no desire to copulate with him. And this garbage does not belong in politics. And the venue for this attack is not surprising. The National Enquirer, the CEO of the National Enquirer is an individual named David Pecker. Well, David is good friends with Donald Trump. They have a friendship that goes back for many years. In fact, the National Enquirer has endorsed Donald Trump, has said he must be president. And so Donald, when he's losing, when he's scared, when Republicans are uniting against him, decides to peddle sleaze and slime. You know, Donald is fond of giving people nicknames. With this pattern, he should not be surprised to see people calling him Sleazy Donald. Because that is his first and last resort, is to go to sleaze and ignore the truth. This has no business in politics. This doesn't belong. Years from now, when my daughters Google this, they will read these lies, these attacks, that Donald and his henchmen and his buddies at the National Enquirer spread about. And by the way, here's how a rumor gets spread. They get their henchmen to put it out on the internet. And then they get the National Enquirer to report, not based on evidence, not based on facts, not based on witnesses, but based on their reporting that it's on the internet after they put it on the internet. And I would note another site, Gawker, which just had a $100 million judgment against them, then reports that National Enquirer is reporting on the Internet rumors, all of which started with Donald Trump. There's a phenomenon in psychiatry known as projection. Donald Trump will soon be the textbook entry for that phenomenon. and a question that the people of America are going to have to answer is how low will Donald go? And is this behavior, these attacks directed? He's directed these attacks at others. He's directed these attacks at Megyn Kelly. He's directed these attacks at Carly Fiorina. He's directed these attacks at Columba Bush, Jeb Bush's wife. Donald has demonstrated he's willing to attack anyone and everyone, and truth does not matter to him. He will lie and go to sleaze. Well, that sleaze has no place in politics. And I think the American people are fed up with it. Senator, Senator how do you justify say, though, that you will, will or will not support Donald Trump if he becomes the nominee? You just blamed him for an extramarital affair. No, I, I, for, 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 for lying about it, for inventing a tabloid smear that is completely untrue. So yes or no, will you vote for him? I will say this. I don't make a habit out of supporting people who attack my wife and attack my family. And Donald Trump is not going to be the Republican nominee. So Donald people, Trump is not going to be the Republican nominee. We are going to beat him. And people have, cri people have criticized you and Donald Trump for being very childish, for just going back and forth. How is this presidential? Do you, do you think it's childish? And why should people vote for you here in Wisconsin with this type of behavior? Sir, let's be clear. One person has been childish, Donald J. Trump. You both have been going back and no, forth. No, that with is each not other. true, sir. That yes, is, it is. That, that, I'm, I'm watching it every day. Yeah. Both you guys are going back and forth with each other with this childish stuff. S S sir, should, sir, should I understand both. in the media that the game the media wants to play is when Donald attacks my family to say everyone is guilty. I have never once attacked any member of Donald's family. I do not intend to. Indeed, when Donald sent a second tweet attacking my wife, I responded by saying, Donald, real men don't bully women. Your wife is lovely. So not only did I not attack his wife, I praised his wife, and I simply said, Heidi is the love of my life. Now, I'm sorry, sir, if you believe that defending your wife and defending your family is childish, but it is not, and the media is being dishonest when it claims everyone is equally responsible. When he attacks my wife, and I turn around and praise his family and defend my wife, 
They are categorically different, and any media reporters who say otherwise are not being truthful. It's easy to, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy to blame the media. It's easy to blame the media, but if you, it's easier to blame the media. The media. We talked to a lot of your female supporters, and they said that they believe these attacks have excluded their ability to vote for Donald Trump in the general election if he's the nominee. Why shouldn't you be held to that same standard? Why can't you say definitively one way or the other? The question that the people of America are asking is how low will Donald go? Is there any limit that he will not go? I believe his conduct in this campaign is convincing millions of Americans that this man would be an embarrassment as president. That we don't want a president who traffics in sleaze and slime. We don't want a president who attacks the family members of other candidates. We don't want a president who seems to have a real issue with strong women. He doesn't do well with strong women. Strong women threaten him, and he lashes out. And we don't want a president who, for four or eight years, we pick up the, t the newspaper every day and read about the latest disaster. You know, Donald Trump is terrified to engage in a debate. He's right now hiding in Trump Tower doing no political events. He's not here in Wisconsin campaigning. Because when you campaign, people actually ask you questions. And when you ask questions, when you don't know anything, about the issues, as Donald Trump does not, it becomes evident. So he sits in Trump Tower and sends tweets late at night. Well, this is a dangerous world. We need a president who is capable of sitting down with Putin and defending America. We need a president who is capable of defeating ISIS and defeating the Ayatollah Khamenei. And it will not be sufficient for the president to hide in his tower and send tweets at Putin. Putin invaded another country, bad. That's not what we need from a president. We need a president who can and will lead. And I think the people of Wisconsin, the people all across this country, have had enough of dishonesty, of sleaze. The conduct of Donald Trump is unbefitting the president of the United States. And these stakes are serious. America is in crisis right now, and we need a leader who brings us together, who defends who we are as Americans, who defends our values, and who stands and fights for jobs. I would note, Donald Trump is not talking about jobs. He's not talking about bringing manufacturing jobs back to Wisconsin. He's not talking about raising wages. Instead, he's just tweeting attacks at women and family members when he feels threatened. We need a president who is fighting for the people of America and not battling his personal demons on Twitter. Senator, have you been